Fabrics made in Africa were commonly used by West Africans for traditional purposes like marriage, ceremonies, and meetings. But as years have moved by, the fabric industry in West Africa has evolved with other African countries adopting their own traditional fabrics. Nua Amala Nyazi, an artist by profession, reviews that most African fabrics are not made in Africa much as they have the African print. Most fabrics may not, be, may not have the origin in Africa but have been Africanized. For example, the Kitenge, uh, especially the artist is uh, the wax Kitenge from uh, West Africa. Those are actually made in the uh, Netherlands, but the inspiration of the design is actually Indonesia. But they have been um, Africanized and domesticated in, Af in West Africa especially, and East Africa has caught on too. They will also have uh, the uh, Kente cloth from Ghana, which has been um, Americanized in terms of the uh, African Americans have taken it up and you'll find it in all sorts of uh, things which they prefer to the indigenous stuff that they want to relate to as Africans, African Americans. Okay. You'll find uh, at their graduation ceremonies, weddings, they always go for the Kente, uh, Kente design. They also have the Kikoi, which is uh, uh, one would say Ugandan and Kenyan. The Kenyans also call it, claim the Kikoi, but the Kikoi of Kenya is the one which uh, in Uganda would be the uh, undergarment, the inner garment, because you also the, the Kitambi one time was, uh, can be used, you know, the, the Chikoi can be used as an undergarment, but also the smaller one, which the Kenyans claim to be theirs. But also we have the multicolored ones. This, this Kikoi is actually have the origin in India. But when you go to India, you may not find many people putting them on. But when you come to Uganda, that is what is looked at as very Uganda. Yeah. The Baganda use it, the uh, Westerners use it, the, the Batoro use it, the Banyakore use it, and the Bachiga. Uh, then we have the bark cloth, yeah. which can I can say this is typical African mm -hmm. and has been very popular, has been popularized within Uganda, where we have started with the Banyoro. You know, the okay. uh, the bark cloth is uh, made from a ficus tree and it is uh, the bark of a tree and it is treated, uh, beaten with a mache, 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 mallet and then they make uh, fabric out of it. Then we also have uh, the kanga, kanga or lessus. Those you may find on the east, on the east coast and also wait, you can go down to, uh, to uh, Swaziland whereby you have very beautiful, colorful kangas in red, browns and orange. Uh, those kangas uh, in Mombasa and Dar es Salaam or Tanzania and Kenya are used to make statements. They have proverbs written on them. Um, the other fabrics could be woven material, and you have the mud cloth from the Congo, uh, and other fabrics. These fabrics are visible these days in different cities in Africa with both old and young donning different styles and fashions depending on one's interests and desires. Angela is one of the dealers with the boutique in campus specializing in selling African fabrics. And we're trying to get a cool trend and picking it up. It, it's affordable for everyone. I, I, I can't say it's cheap, but I'm saying it's affordable. You can go out and go to a tailor and tell them, you know, this is the kind of fashion I want, this is the kind of shirt I want, dress I want, and they'll make it for you. Whereas uh, uh, for other material, we, we've not really, fabrics, we've not thought about them. And uh, you would be thinking, can I go to Vera Wang, you know? You don't know, you can't fly to America just to make an outfit that you love. Whereas for the African fabric, we we accepted it more and the fact that you have accessibility to a tailor who can you know make a fitting outfit for you it is uh, stylish it is classy it is affordable it is trendy and never goes out of fashion i think the youths have started appreciating african crafts handmade crafts whether jewelry or clothes because i think they're appreciating the beauty that is in each and every item for the clothes and the, and the jewelry and they're also appreciating their culture because the western culture was trying to take over 
but I think they've seen the beauty now. Celebrities in Uganda plus the media have played a big role in promoting the African fabric to the population. The celebrities, when they pick it up, usually becomes trend and everybody starts following it up. The celebrities have a lot of impact, a lot of impact. If they embrace it, you see it going uh, viral. For example, the uh, now the, the pap, mama and papa, because of Camille, now everybody wants to put on that yeah. <laughs> The youth these days like those that fabric because you know when they watch the video something like wale wale they come they get interested then they, that's why they come and buy so you find we are selling but other than that if it wasn't for such videos they couldn't be buying the popularization of african fabrics has led many people to create their own fabrics which has earned them some income sourcing themselves after graduation Babili and Nakata decided to start up their own business dealing in African fabrics. I and my twin sister Brenda, uh, after school, we decided I think we worked for like one year, we were employed for like one year or so. But we always had this mind that we can always make our own company, our own business, and grow in that. So we decided started out with art and crafts but in art and crafts we are designers too we do beadwork like we are doing here necklaces earrings key holders we design bags even clothes we make good sales too however many people have different opinions about the african fabrics so now it's like the new designs they are bought out they are really really attracting and they are really brought out that we don't come out because remember it's a don't come out and everyone puts out to be smart and so kind of so everyone is like wow this is a nice design and also to, to promote culture I for one I like it just because it's my favorite one of my favorite designs most when I do it a design I like because do you know the Nigerian really there is a way they put it out and they really make it to be attracted for me even before, I used to like them, it's not like I've just liked them and I've just started liking them because my mom bought me that culture of liking them because my dad used to bring them and do different designs and everyone was like, wow, which type of material is this? They said they used to just abuse them but me, I just like them as a culture. With the common set of business suits in the corporate world, many executives are replacing the wardrobes with African fabrics for both men and women. This trend is spreading very fast and is a common sight these days. Reporting for Media Plus, I'm Terry Karima.